It's alive! Look at that thing go! What is this? Let's find out. So yeah, I just discovered Seed Studio, and while I was looking around on their website, I found this MakerPy RP2040. And it's only $10 here? Yeah, it's got to come from China, so you got to wait a while. But I just got mine this week. And it's an incredible, I think it's the best implementation of the RP2040 that I've seen so far. Let's take a look here. Here's the data sheet. I'm not going to bore you with uh, the trivial technical details or anything like that. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's under the hood. Okay, here we go. The Cytron MakerPy RP2040. That's cute. You can write people's names on it there, so you can pass it out to your little classroom and everything. Let's crack open the box. I'm really impressed. This board for $10? That's amazing. Let's get it out of the box here. So there's a JST and a power block there. Two motor blocks that you can attach two electric motors to. And I just put three volt uh, hobbyist motors on there. Seven Grove ports. There's two RGB LEDs on there. A couple of programmable buttons, GPIO 20 and 21. These motor test buttons are pretty cool. You just fire it up and you can make the motor go backwards and forwards, pushing those buttons. There's a power switch here. Somewhere there's a piezoelectric buzzer. That's the boot button there if you want to boot and upload a different program. And there's a bunch of LEDs in the middle of the board there. And look, I didn't expect this, but they've got actually uh, four sets of these Grove to uh, DuPont cables so that you could easily attach sensors to four Grove ports if they already have little uh, jumper pins on them. Comes with its own screwdriver. And some little rubber feet so you don't short it out setting it down on a metal surface or something. Okay, and then this QR code, there's also a hyperlink. There is a GitHub site for the MakerPy RP2040. And this, is, uh, this device is made by a company named Cytron. And they've already preloaded it with CircuitPython firmware and a demo program. So what's cool, whenever there's a demo program, if you know me, I just love drilling down into example uh, sketches. Here's the demo code. Oh my gosh, they show us how to do everything there. So let's talk through the setup here. I attach this 1000 MAH single cell LiPo to that power block. A couple of 3 volt hobbyist motors to motor 1 and motor two ports. This is an old robot carcass. It's got a bunch of nine gram servos in it. I've got four of those servos hooked up to the PMW pins. It's got PMW pins. Forgot to mention that. So you've got two motors, four servos, and seven Grove connections for sensors. Plus, like I say, you've got the two RGB LEDs on board. And, wow, it's, the features just don't quit on this. Let's check it out in action. Here we go. Here's those motor test buttons in action. Motor test buttons. You can see it switches the motors forward and backwards. Yeah, here it goes. Switch it on. Oh, that's cool. It plays the Mario Brothers theme. It's always good to have, like, a little throwback there. Now we're going to push that GP20. Oh, look at that. The motor starts spinning. Look at the RGB leads are lit. And those servos all did a little dance. There, switch it off. The RGB lights go to a different routine. Motor stop. Servos uh, go back 180 degrees. And yeah. All heck breaks loose. Wow. Can you imagine the robot power you get out of this thing? There, everything's calm. Okay, well, so you can see this MakerPy RP2040 by Cytron from Seed Studio is a real awesome 
opportunity for a robot controller and I hope you enjoyed checking this out and leave a comment down below on what you're interested in doing with it. Give this video a like and before you go on to watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.